Now that the paramount is out of the box, the next thing we want to do is adjust the altitude assembly so that it's easy to access the two shoulder screws in front when we set it onto the pier. You will need to use the quarter inch hex wrench which comes with the mount and loosen all six of the socket head cap screws on each side. Once this is done, you can lift up on the declination plate. And this may take two people, but we recommend you put it about halfway up. If you go too far, way up in the to 50 degree position, the mount will want to fall backwards and it's much more difficult to set it on the pier. So if you put it about halfway and then tighten down a screw, one of the socket head cap screws on each side before you lift it up to the mount. To lift the paramount up to the pier, we recommend that you grab the paramount by the altitude adjustment bar in the back of the mount like this. The paramount is supplied with three shoulder bolts for attaching the mount to the pier. Two of these have been turned down a little bit. They're a little bit smaller diameter and these should be used in the front where the azimuth adjustment is done. The third is a snugger fit in the rear hole which pivots around. Once you have the two front shoulder screws in, you're ready to use the quarter inch hex wrench to loosen the socket head cap screws on the sides and raise the mount up to its highest position. This will provide access to the rear hole. Then take the rear shoulder bolt and grab the back of the mount and wiggle it around until you feel the, the screw drop into the threads. And it usually is not too hard because it's being guided by the front two screws. After you get it hand tight, you take the 3 16 inch wrench and snug it down firmly.